just as advances are made in medicine, advances are made in science, biology, teaching methods improve, math advances, space exploration advances. So also are there advances in Orwellian psychology. One of the most clever things that has happened in American media is that by rendering obvious questions taboo so that not only are they never asked, but psychological reflexes are in place to prevent them even from being formulated. What happens is that the subconscious mind interjects that there must be some plausible explanation and allows that to be the end of the matter. It is a hologram internally has been put in place that closes and the mind closes with it and yet the alert mind is aware that the mind is closed. So the alert mind inserts that there must be some plausible explanation and leaves it at that. And so that answers the matter. The reason I'm making this video is I want to make sure that certain things are available to me if I go to a psychiatric hospital in Massachusetts as a homeless individual to testify to the Massachusetts authorities how and why Amanda Harcourt and Peter Sunfield murdered Cersei Kennedy and two other Kennedys. When Ken Crimson came out, it wasn't widely understood that they were working with Warhol and Donald Trump. It came on the heels of Martin Luther King's assassination, yes, but very little was understood about the library of murder. King Crimson followed King, but that didn't necessitate in anybody's mind that they were sending a signal concerning their involvement. There was a subtitle in one of their songs, March for No Reason. Of course, there were many reasons for the peace marches at the time. This was an attempt to induce and recruit to the idea that there were no reasons for them. I was played this album when I was nine years old by the Wattenmaker family. Very revealingly, the mother was named Edith and the sister was named Patricia, just as is the case in the family of Robert Tripp. Bernard Wattenmaker his first name derives from St. Bernard, who was thought of as the Marian doctor for his contemplations of the Virgin Mary in history. Was a psychiatrist at Attica State Prison. After they visited Israel and played this song for me, they showed me images of Yad Vashem, and taught me about the Jewish Holocaust that I'd heard about from my father, who was in the War at Sea. Wattenmaker is a very ironic name, considering how that victory at sea came about. Bernard was a psychiatrist for Attica State Prison, working with King Crimson and they left a script 
complaining that they had killed Martin Luther King to advance better black men who would respect the chivalric code of the Ku Klux Klan, a new warrior class called the Green Party, loyal to the Axis through an idea of a burning cross against immorality. In a drawing I did at the age of nine, which I copied an image from the album that Wattenmaker played for me by King Crimson, I also make reference to the Promised Land because the Wattenmakers were teaching me about Israel. The letters themselves were coming to me every day from an Israeli named Gail Burston who went to Bryn Mawr, who was introduced to me by the daughter of Magistrate Shelley Friedman, who works to this minute on monitoring me with the NAACP. Mountie Banks from the city of Pittsburgh who participated in all of this. What we find when we look at Shelley Friedman's involvement with Gail Burson is a mother in the neighborhood when I was very young. My own mother knew the letters were coming, saw nothing wrong with them. Even though I didn't understand them, I saw nothing wrong with them because of who had introduced me to her and who was confirming that they were coming. But the monstrous psychology of Attica State Prison and Kennedy's murderers in King Crimson have put a false light by gaslighting me on the idea that I should have understood. And they've done so in a chickenly way. They have never come out and said anything openly about what they've done. They are conveying in the way that the mailed fist and those letters were a mailed fist in more ways than one, congratulate themselves on intimidating others. One of the letters had this comment about, about ready to send you ESP signals. Well, that's the style of these morbid, genocidal autocrats of the arts in our corrections and the slime in our administration of universities who have allowed this. The script defended the already debauched D.D. Mancine who seduced me when I was in trauma and beaten into semi-coma as a little boy. Her sister's name was Neva. We now know that Neva Mancine stood for cinema, the pornographic giant who used this symbol. It's called Neva. They come from Japan. They put a C in the Star of David. The slime in Washington working with Jay Inslee on the COVID bomb, murdered my father on the back of his obituary. There was a comment about Germany, who he despised for what they did in World War II. And the name of this letter, which defaced the back of my father's obituary, is don't know who. You find in their ESP signals a dance macabre He's, that is found in books that were published by the Cold War team assembled by Hitler and Reagan. In this letter, she says only two people would know if Christ came back and you would be one of them. Only two people would know the truth about what this administration has done. Oswald's ID was from December 7th, the anniversary of Pearl Harbor. One of the filmmakers who worked with Hitler Reagan used an image of 
the type of person descriptively in the archetypal system of Tamo de Jong, who is featured by King Crimson on the early records. Has her holding her ears as a symbol against the atomic blast and using the lyrics that they were to publish when John Lennon faked his death. And they rip her murdered a girl over a penny here. The caseworker, identical to the perpetrator of the Ripper attack. And an image of Gail Burson was found in Seattle Center playing the violin with a geisha looking like the cover of that famous King Crimson album. So we know that when they call Mark Mark a boffin, which is a British special weapons scientist. They're talking about a number of things that King Edward did with Adolf Hitler. And his brilliant idea of a genocide based on sexual immorality. There's another girl bursting on the cover of the King Crimson album. When I look through my archives, I find that there's a visual narrative. But what's particularly charming is that when they poisoned me in the mouth, they gave information carry bird. A limerick, my father used to say, was about a canary bird. Can Canute Canary Bird sold his wife for half a turd. Turd was dirty, good for nothing. Can Canute Canary Bird. Which means that the Seattle contraption with the NAACP and Shelley Friedman who poisoned me in the mouth in the lead up to COVID and murdered the Kennedys as members of my family and helping them. Obviously, I have reasons to want to leave. We call the people behind 911 our heroes because one of them is Yoko Ono and pretend that's not what we're doing. Some very disturbed people who can't bear the evidence that John Lennon pulled a Houdini and faked this to sell cleanup time and starting over, which is the fact, who may not want to be reminded the similarity between the old police cassette stories that Hitler was still alive and the rumor that Paul McCartney had died, which was similarly glamorized in magazines talking about his mysterious doubles. People who can't bear the evidence don't want to be intruded on with the invisible idea that Lennon and Hitler working for King Edward avenged the Axis defeat and took control, have another road they can go down, other than just putting the hologram in place that says there must be another explanation. This would be that Warhol and Ono were perverts. And they were wildly admired perverts. So wildly admired were they as perverts that Bob Dylan could put out a song about assassinating Kennedy and then advertise it by killing Searcy. And for those people who seek this alternative explanation, the pervert explanation, their gurus are like holy men. They consider these murders shamanism. Both explanations are true. These are sinister and evil perverts, and John Lennon is their leader. <laughs>